Dude. Hey guys, Elementrix here. Hope you're all doing well and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be taking a look at some dope breach flash and abilities which you guys can use on the map Bind. And I made a very similar guide for the maps Haven and Split which you guys can check out in the links below or clicking on the eye on the top of this video. Now if you're someone that has been playing breach but don't really know where to pop some of his flash or use some of his abilities, or if you're completely new to playing Breach and you want to learn a little bit more about the character, then this video is perfect for you. I'll make sure to have all the timestamps in the description below so you guys can jump directly to one of the flash or ability spots that interests you the most. But anyways, if you guys enjoy this video, then you already know what to do. And if you're new to the channel and you really enjoy this kind of content, then why not consider subscribing? Take care guys, enjoy the video, and I'll talk to you later. So this is a very simple flash which you can do and it's from showers. All you need to do is pop it on here, on the top of this uh, entrance. And it's going to flash anyone in heaven, anyone on site, and anyone on the right side here. So it looks something like this. Right, and then you got someone heaven, usually they, they fall back into cover. Uh, same thing goes for the people on site, if they get flashed by it, um, they will go back into cover. And the guy over here, well, he's pretty much done because once you pop the flash, you can just peek out here and he's dead. Um, and essentially what you want to do is have someone in your team block off this left side here. So once you pop the flash, you don't have to worry about the left side. You just come out worrying about the guy up here or anyone in heaven and anyone on site in front of you, right? Also, now that we're still in showers, I will show you a fault line which you can line up and it will hit anyone uh, in this corner over here, back here, and in heaven as well. And you can combine that pretty well with your um, aftershock ability. So what you need to do is just kind of line yourself up on this corner. It doesn't have to be too precise. And just look on the map and try to aim it so you hit all three spots. And somewhere over here is kind of perfect because the guy in heaven usually plays the 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 right side of heavens from what we see over here on the map. So if you pop it over here, then you combine your aftershock up here. It's an easy kill on the guy over there. Also keep in mind that the whole purpose of the uh, aftershock ability is not necessarily to kill people. I've seen some of you guys write in the comments that only idiots would basically get killed by the aftershock ability because they can just simply move out of the way. And that is kind of the whole point, right? You want them to move out of the way. So if you're popping the ability in this corner over here, and even if they're not stunned or anything, even if they're not stunned and they, they see this coming, they're going to have to come out here. If they come out here in the open, they, they're pretty much dead, right? Because you're you're either going to be anticipating them, and you'll be able to pre-fire that, or you'll be able to um, have at least two, another guy with you that's going to go in an unfair one versus two uh, against the guy that is kind of panicking out of this corner. So essentially, this um, aftershock ability is also really useful to flush out enemies from certain corners. So if you're playing as Breach and you're coming up a short over here and you wonder where you can flash, it is quite difficult simply because, um, for example, if you pop a flash anywhere here, it doesn't actually flash all the spots you may want. Um, especially if someone is sitting uh, back here, um, it is quite difficult to kind of flush out all areas. So a short to play with Breach is quite difficult to kind of get one flash to flash everything. However, there is a pretty cool flash that will allow you to flash anyone on site, assuming that you've kind of taken over uh, short over here. And that is by pop popping it up there. 
So if you come out here and you pop it over there, it's a really effective flash for flashing anyone in heaven, someone on site, someone at the back over there, even someone standing all the way in this corner. So it's quite helpful for your teammates if they want to push out where you're playing a short, you can easily pop the flash up there and they have enough room to push out. Now, that's one flash which you can do to kind of uh, flash anyone on site. Uh, but assuming that you haven't taken over short, there is a few things you can do to kind of um, uh, push back the guy sitting in U-Haul. Uh, and for example, you could pop your fault line over here. Take out your aftershock and pop it over there. And essentially it will uh, force the guy standing over here. He will be stunned. And if he is not stunned, um, once you pop the aftershock, he will be forced to fall back. All right. Combine that up with a brimstone smoke over here. And it's pretty effective um, to kind of guarantee that you, you are free from this left side. And all you need to worry about is anyone standing over here. If you want to flash, what you can do is come out with a flash on this box. You can come out with a flash on the top of that corner. And the only way he's not going to be flashed is if he's sitting in this corner. And it is quite difficult to kind of get a flash out uh, onto this guy. But if you peek him as a team together, it should be pretty easy. Um, what you can also do is pop a flash into this corner. That will take anyone standing in there again. And it will also flash the guy in this corner over here, as I will shortly demonstrate. All right, so moving on to B short, um, there is not many flashes that you can do off here. Uh, there is only one that I will recommend. Um, there is another uh, fault line in combination with your aftershock ability, which is pretty useful. But uh, let's start off with the flash. Usually, uh, depending, sometimes you're going to have a player that, as you see here, plays this corner here quite aggressive, right? Sometimes uh, I've encountered it quite a lot where it's either a breach or a phoenix that will pop a flash over here. And then we'll just peek out and try and get a quick, easy frag. Now, the way you can counter that is by pushing them back. And they, if you pop a flash into this corner over here, they're going to be blind, right? So they're going to have to fall back, giving your team enough room to come up here and take over uh, B short. So once they're over here, usually you can actually, uh, just to come back to it real quick, you, you can combine it with a... Um, a jet's ability so for example if you would pop it here jet would dash forward and be able to get a surprise uh, peek on this guy because of course breach is kind of slow uh, when you're popping a flash from this distance he's not going to reach there in time in order to get that kill so if you combine it with a jet that can dash up front and get that frag it's an easy kill okay so now you've taken up short no one rushed you managed to get control over this area um, next thing is you want to push into hookah and usually there is uh, um, always someone in this corner here or as you see up there holding that angle and even holding this angle over here. So it can be quite a challenging room to clear and there is actually one flash that is pretty useful for that and all you need to do is pop it next to this window over here. So like somewhere in this area um, when you pop it it's going to flash everyone in the room. All right. The only place it's not going to flash if they're crouched under this corner. But uh, that's a corner that you're going to have to clear with the team. So, again, it's quite a delay on the flash as well. So once you pop the flash, you don't want to be the first one pushing, right? You want your team already holding this angle. So when you pop that flash, when you pop that flash, your team can kind of rush out and uh, kill anyone that's flashed. All right, so once you've cleared hookah and you come out here, usually what happens is you peek, you're dead because there's a sniper at the back um, or there is someone playing this tight angle over here. Um, and what you want to do is kind of eliminate anyone that is aiming into window from getting the advantage on you. And the way you do that with breach is by popping a very simple flash that goes into this corner over there. You pop that flash, it will blind anyone in CT. It will even blind the guy over here, playing either on the box or under. 
It will blind anyone playing on site. Back of site as well. If anyone is back here, holding long. It will even blind the guy that's playing elbow. Back here, trying to give info to their team, either holding hookah or holding long as well. Now, keep in mind that if they're playing it very deep, they're not going to be flashed. But then he's not a danger to you guys in hookah. So, let's check it out. If you come out here... You can do this flash without even putting yourself into danger, right? So you don't want to come out here and then flash. What you're going to do is just pop it over here. Blinding. Guy from window is dead. The guy from here will be flashed, allowing your team to push out as well. Keep in mind that this flash is not just meant for you. It's meant for your entire team to kind of push out together. Alright, so if you're playing Breach and you want to take up B long, um, I don't really recommend using any of your flashes to take over um, actual B long because it's not really worth it. I think if you come with uh, two or even three guys, you should be able to clear this um, area very easily. However, the challenge is once you start to pop out here, there's usually someone playing that angle over there or he might even be standing on site. Um, and sometimes you even have a guy playing up here and playing very close. Now, there's only one flash that will flash all of these three spots um, and allow you to get uh, the advantage. It's not on this corner here because if you flash it over here, the guy at the back is not going to be flashed, only the guy in here. And if you flash it over here, which is quite an effective flash as well, you're only going to flash the dudes on site, but you're not going to flash the guy in this room. So what you want to do is kind of line it up to this tip of this corner over here. Don't do it too low and don't do it too much to the left. So do it in that tip corner over there. And if you do that, then it will flash the dude at the back over there. And it will flash the guy in here. 